Hello friends, in this video, I will show you practically how Design Studio looks, its overview, how you can get uh, started with it. So, whenever you have the system, it, it will have this uh, SAP Design Studio installed. So, in the start menu, you will see the option like that, uh, Design Studio 64 bit. So, uh, you can click on that. So, there are three modes uh, which we can open with this. Uh, the, like local mode, then SAP BI platform, then SAP HANA, uh, like SAP Netware BW. So these are the different options which are available. Means I'll show you in uh, tools and preferences. So when this gets launched, this is the first page, welcome page gets open where it has this information. So it, it has some basic tutorials, means how to get start with this, like how to create a global script and all, all these things means. Uh, so if I click on this means it will go to the SAP site where it has this uh, tutorial so you can um, learn from here as well so this is one thing then uh, this is the create new application to start with means we can create from here recently use application if there are then it will come like here then there are some useful links which will go through the, uh, go to SAP sites for our help uh, on different topics so for now I'll just close this now I'll show you means how the tool likes. Uh, so this is the basic structure or the layout we can say about the SAP Business Objects uh, Design Studio. On the left side you will see components. So there are different components. If we say analytic component, components, basic components, container components. In analytic components, if you see there are 10 analytics components, charts, cross tab, dimension filter, filter line, filter panel. So these are the different different options. You see geo map, info chart like this. So we will be seeing, uh, seeing this in practical uh, examples, how we can uh, create this or how we can use these components. There are these basic components like button, list box, drop downs, icon, image like that. So these are the different uh, room for chart feeding panel. So these are the basic components. There are 16 ba basic components. Then container components. Uh, so this is basically a container components where we can embed other uh, basic components or analytical components like grid, layout, page book, you see. So this is a, like a wrap up where uh, we can embed our other components. Pop up. So if you want to create a pop up window, then tab strip. So if you want to kind of create a multiple tabs, so that is one uh, tab strip. Then uh, this is outline where uh, this will cover means if I say means uh, what is outline. So uh, this this outline will have means suppose I will show you means how this outline means to create a new application means we can either click on this new application or there is one more option means in applications we can create on this new so either way means we can create a new application so suppose i am creating this so this is the first uh, uh, window which is comes up means we can give the same uh, some uh, name here like so this is a test uh, sample dashboard application any name if you want that we can give the, then template if you see this SAP UIFI and SAP UIFI mobile means this is for name uh, mobile one. So you will see basic layout, uh, basic layout, basic analysis layout. This is a, uh, these, these two are with the new, with the design studio 1.6. Then the, the standard are blank, then basic layout analysis and these two are and planning layout. Then ready to run means data discovery and uh, visualization. It will have this uh, template automatically defined there and with, we just need to connect with the data sources, generic analysis and online composition. And if you go to this SAP UIFI uh, mobile, so this is, uh, you see this basic layout and black layout. These are the only two uh, layouts which are available with this. Uh, so which is available for uh, blue crystal and high context black uh, themes. Uh, okay, so suppose I'm just taking a basic layout plan, uh, layout template. If you see this description, it will have this description which is uh, defined for standard template and used for ad hoc slicing and dicing data sources. So uh, this is very uh, simple one means you uh, can learn about this means then we, once we give the name and uh, select the template based on our requirement. So we can just click click on this create option. 
So once we create this op uh, app option means uh, this application, uh, you will see this uh, sample dashboard got uh, created. Uh, it's a sample layout which is uh, automatically de displayed here. So coming to uh, this uh, outline tab, which will have this uh, data sources. So data sources is nothing but we will be connecting to the either uh, SAP uh, BW, uh, then SAP HANA or SAP um, universes, that UNX uh, objects. So in this data sources, we can create a new data sources or, and then we can mm, connect to them and then can, we can assign this. So we will be seeing this in a practical examples. So this is a planning objects. There are additional planning objects which we will be using then layout. Uh, so in the layout it will have header then filter area body toolbar footer so all all the main components which are required for uh, uh, designing of the uh, dashboard it it will be in this layout then technical and com technical components so it's most of related to the uh, we can say about the scripting that we will see in a detail later means how we can add the scripting and all these things all these objects we will take one by one. So uh, this is uh, outline. This outline will contain about this technical detail, or we can say a coding part. Then uh, uh, coming to on the on the right side there is a properties tab. So any component like suppose uh, if I click on any of this, you will see different different properties appear here. So that may be uh, again related to the layout like margins, width, height, then um, CSS style means there are, uh, um, if you want to specify any specific uh, cascading style sheet uh, design that also we can specify. So this is again in re properties section. And um, so this is all about uh, the main layout. Uh, so this is the main dashboard which will look like this and there are other views. So suppose this error logs uh, is there, error logs, search results. So if I say just reset layout, so you will see the script log, uh, script problems. Uh, means if there is any means it will show in a, a script error log will have this uh, errors, additional properties also if there are, uh, then help section is also available there. So these are the uh, options. So um, now whenever we create application, we can just uh, execute locally uh, to just to um, check means. For now means uh, this is a, just a sample one. So it is showing the data. So the by default means this is a cro uh, cross tab which is created and it is had and means this is a sample one means C means. Uh, as this is a no data available, but we can assign this data later means I will show you means how we can create a data sources and we can assign the data. So once we click on this and then there is sent to mobile devices. So this is also we can uh, do. Okay, so this is all about uh, this tool, uh, basic overview of this tool. In general, in detail means I will be taking uh, practical examples related to the uh, units which I am going to cover in next uh, few days. Uh, there is one more thing means uh, if I go to the preferences, uh, you will see there is a preferences star preferred startup mode. So you will see there are three more like business objects BI platform. So this is nothing but a BI a business objects BI platform. Uh, we can connect to the SAP universes like which are UNX uh, objects. Then uh, SAP HANA, then SAP Netwear. So these are the options means if suppose I, I select SAP business objects uh, BI platform. So whenever I, uh, so this will, this will connect to the SAP business objects BI platform and I can, uh, get the connections from that BI platform. So if I select other like HANA or Netwear, what are the connections or data sources available there? I'll, I can connect this design studio to that uh, sources. Okay, so these are the different options, means these uh, settings that we will see in a data later. Uh, syntax coloring, uh, we can change this syntax means based on whatever we need later. So templates, these are the different different templates. So for now means I'll just show you 
uh, for application design if i am selecting sap business objects bi platform and if i select click ok then it will ask uh, the changes of the startup mode takes effect after the next restart so we need to restart it now so that uh, it will uh, show you means uh, what is the um, means we, we need to connect to the bi platform so that's that's why uh, while launching it will connect to the bi uh, launch pad okay so uh, whatever means we need to give the username and password for this with the then uh, this is the server url which we need to give then authentication also we need to specify and we can just uh, click on ok uh, so uh, this is just a warning just uh, ignore that so now this is connected to the bi platform and uh, if you see means um, let me close this. I will show you, Miss. I'll just create one more. Uh, one, two, three. So, how it works uh, when connected to the BI platform? Uh, so, now if you say this is a data source, Miss, suppose I want to create a data source. Now, what I can do, I can just click on uh, right click on this data sources and just click on. Uh, data uh, source so now if i browse it whatever the universes are available there i can connect to them and then this universes uh, i can show it. so this is the use of bi platform if if this is launched in this design studio is launched in uh, local mode then it it will not show any connections if there are any connections locally published then only it will show up here otherwise it will show blank Okay, so I will show, I will be taking an, uh, another practical example uh, to create data source and how we can uh, assign it to the dashboard. So that will be an, uh, another uh, video. So I hope you have understood this. This is the basic uh, tool structure and how it looks and what all the um, components of it. So I hope you have understood this. If you have any questions, then please put it in a comment section. If you like my video, then please like it. Please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next video when I upload it. Thank you for watching.